Is there another Secret Life of Pets? Coming? Yes. Oh, fantastic. I started recording it a couple weeks ago. How great is that? When does it come out? Uh, summer of 18. Okay. Wow. Yes. I, will, I will put my kids on alert. <laughs> yeah. Well, might be a little soon. No, they don't care. Did you? I, did, I'll send you the DVD of the first one. Did you get it? Uh, at any time. I'll send you one. I will. I, I mean, will, not that I, I'll, I'll just be have welcoming to go to Best of Buy it. and buy it myself. Right now, they're locked in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I'll go to Best Buy and get you a <laughs> secret life of pets. No, no, please. I'll Amazon don't worry. it. I'll come over. We'll snuggle in your in uh, your. That'll, that'll, be, that'll our, be the that'll day. That'll be our morning in bed. Oh. Mm-hmm. This is really working By the way, that, that, nice. that sounded like a secret life of pets Aww. noise right there. <laughs> Now, you go ahead and ask. Go yeah, because Fizzwell the Clown, the character in yeah. Modern Family, is based off of you as a kid because you were you were into clowns as mm-hmm. a kid and you dressed up as a clown. A couple months ago, we kind of had this clown creeper scare. Yeah. How, what, what, were your, Pissed me off. what were your thoughts on all of this? It makes me mad. It, it angers me. It honestly does because, you know, cl- when I was a kid, there, I was, there was an article written about me in the Kansas City, Kansas when I was in fifth grade. Love it. Uh, and, and your mom it, clipped it out. And oh everything, my right? God! It was, big, yeah, yeah sure. I still have it. I mean, that's the article that I took into the writers of Modern Family the first time they wrote the Fizbo episode, is so they could see this, for, you know, and have perspective on it. But in that article, as a kid, mm-hmm. as an eleven-year-old kid, I say, you know, if the circus called, I would go and get the experience that I needed, but I probably wouldn't stay. But all I ever want to do in life is entertain kids and older people. Now I said that as an eleven-year-old. What's funny about that is I said kids and older people, then that means no one in between. Like, I don't want to entertain anyone between kids and older people. But my point of that is, at 11 years old, I wanted to be a clown, and the reason I wanted to be a clown was because I wanted to bring joy to people's lives. Yeah. And make and make people forget things in the hospital and go in and do a little magic trick, go in and do a little, you know, fall or a little balloon animal or whatever. And so the idea that the clowning has been hijacked, you know, with this notion that they're scary bad people it it makes me mad because most clowns just want to bring a little happiness to people and i have said for years and years and years oh i they get me going on this on modern levitan loves to (laughs) prime this and get me going because i'm passionate about it Uh, the idea that you know clowns are scary to me was started off as a fad it's like it's cool to say you're scared of clowns Mm -hmm. you know because most people really aren't scared of clowns i don't think they're scared of clowns well because we're rational enough to know that it's just a person with makeup on sure that wants to just go ride a little car in a parade see look what you started (laughs) see even brown this is bull (laughs) see this breaks so many rules of clowning right here (laughs) who did this who put this makeup on you so here's here's a basic rule red never goes above your top lip the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience